Hello, I'm Martinez, and welcome to a quick introduction to Bob's Blobs, a new generative plugin for Resolute. Bob's Blobs makes blobs. These can morph, join, and separate over time, but also make for simpler expressions as pure spheres drifting along the screen. Going through the parameter list, we can start with size, that sets the base size for each blob. This can be varied by using the size variation setting. This makes the size parameter a base for the size instead. Next are the blob and uh, side tension parameters. These decide how much the blobs will cling to the other blobs and the sides of the screen. The plugin has two colors, a top color and a bottom color. These can work as a highlight and shadow or a background and foreground type of coloring, especially when using um, borders that can turn it from a three color setup or a, a two color plus alpha to a two color setup. The next section deals with the movement of the blobs with horizontal speed, vertical speed, speed variance, wonder, and a position offset, which can seem quite dramatic. Looking at the speed variance parameter, it spreads the speed per blob. At zero, all blobs will have the same speed. At 0.5, um, the speed will vary between horizontal and vertical uh, speed, and zero. And at 1, the speed will vary between horizontal and vertical speed, and negative horizontal and vertical speed. The wonder parameter uh, just adds some random slow movement to the blobs. The position offset adjusts the uh, randomization of the blob positions. It can be used kind of like random seed if you need variations to your blob starting points, as these always will be the same if at zero but it also loops, making for a fourth way to control blob positions. Then there is the border parameters. These can fill the screen from top, bottom, left, right, all the way to the opposite side of the screen. Combining these with the side tension can uh, make for interesting and unique looks. X elongate and uh, Y elongate uh, are ways to drag out the blobs to lines in the respective directions. When combined with Arena's timeline and an envelope, these can uh, expand the looks you're able to get from the plugin, and used in creative ways, you might also even get a clock. Splat is splatting, obviously. The last uh, parameter is more of a setting. This is the re-trigger with clip that when enabled re-triggers the generator when the clip is triggered. If you are triggering columns and don't want to reset the blob animation, this can be unchecked to have Bob's blobs keep moving regardless of triggering. Um, please note that preventing the re-trigger will not work with Arena's timeline animations if you have that driving something there. A uh, workaround is to use the BPM sync uh, instead, which um, then again should prevent any re-triggering of the patch in the background. Thank you for checking out the plugin and the introduction, and I hope you found it interesting. Have a nice day!